Good afternoon, sports fans, and welcome to Northern Burlington County Regional High School. I am Mr. James Dow, joined by broadcasting students Mr. Decker Mar and Mr. Kyle Forsini, and we are here live as the Northern Burlington Greyhounds take on Collingswood High School. How are you guys doing today? Good, Mr. Dowd. How are you guys doing tonight? It's a pleasure to be back for year two. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited to be back here. I mean, we haven't. this is the first thing we've done this year. We haven't done anything since lacrosse last year, and I'm excited to get back and do some more. Now, Northern Burlington is led by new head coach Gene Darling. He's got a lot of experience as a coach, as an assistant coach, certainly also teaches health and physical education here. He was also quite the high school and college athlete himself. So I know he's got these girls motivated and should be a great matchup here against Collingswood, one of our neighboring schools. Yeah, he coaches two good teams in the basketball team and helps out with the baseball team. Both of those teams have had great success, so hopefully he continues that with the volleyball team this year. Now, Northern won their home opener just a couple weeks ago. They won two sets to one, defeating Hopewell Valley, then they defeated Collingswood in two straight sets. That was back on September 9th. They've also played some really tough matchups against West Windsor Plainsboro South. They fell to Princeton and Sterling, but they've come back recently this week. It's a two-game win streak. They defeated Leap just on Friday, and they recently defeated Penn Saucon, and they currently stand 5-4 and four on the season. Looks like we're going to get the first serve in here from Collingswood. Point Northern right from the get-go. Now, as I said, these two teams are no strangers to each other. Northern defeated Collingswood back on September 9th in two straight sets, 25 to 21 and 25 to 19. But Collingswood certainly is hung with them, and despite struggling this season, the girls in Collingswood have been playing pretty well. Another quick point for Northern. Really good start. Another point Northern, a 3-0 start. And they've suddenly gotten off to a quick start and hopefully they can make quick work of Collingswood here. Now Collingswood has really struggled this season as I stated. They are only 3-10 on the year, but they have defeated some local teams like Bowen City, Florence, and Camden Tech, so they're certainly more than more capable of winning. Two of their three wins this year so far have actually been on the road. And they've really struggled at home against some of the same common opponents that Nor Northern has struggled with, Princeton, Sterling, and West Windsor. So, we're hanging tough. Northern currently in the lead. As Collingswood takes over possession. Collins was on a 2 0 run right now. They're coming right back. Oh, that was a great play there. Great play there by Taylor Sudo, spiking that over the net on Collinswood to give Northern the 4 2 lead. She actually currently leads the team with 33 kills so far this season, followed only by Emma Browning with 32 and Lindy Bauer with 28. So Northern's got some great players there on the front line. Certainly more than capable of putting the ball over and scoring some quick points. A point for Northern. They go up 5 2. Yeah, a couple mistakes on both sides so far, but a really good start from North. They're up by three. Make that four. Great service point there by Emma Browning. As I said, she's actually currently second on the team in service points. Trailing only Emily Kanopka. Both have an outstanding season here for the Hounds. There by Lydia Bauer. Great play. As I said, she's one of the top three players on the Hounds in kills, and that was certainly a great play there. 
putting the Hounds in the lead, seven to two. Collinswood is certainly playing competitive here with the Hounds. And as I said, these teams are no strangers to each other. The Hounds defeated them twice in 2014, twice in 2015. And so far this season have defeated them. So certainly Collinswood's looking to get some revenge here in this match. As they only trail 7-3, to three, looking to take over with the serve. The serve here from Collinswood is going to be from Kaijana Lee. One of the outstanding players on Collingswood. She actually leads the team in aces and in service points. So she's certainly more than capable of scoring. Oh, great play there by the Lady Hounds. And the long volley ends with the northern point there. Lady Bauer with a nice kill there. To That's what her second or third point already. <laughs> Maddie Wolverton here serving for the Lady Hounds. Great play by Emily Kanopka there. And a great drop there by Bauer on the front line. Point Northern, and that one sails out of bounds. They take a 9-3 lead, nearly going. Now, Northern certainly has their work cut out for them. They actually have eight games in the month of September. So you got to hope that, you know, maybe fatigue isn't setting in for our Lady Hounds. And between this week and next week, they actually have four straight away games. Going up against Notre Dame, West Windsor, Plainsboro, Hopewell Valley, and Cinnaminson. So this is a great opportunity for the Hounds to continue building on their season. Get a big win here at home with our home crowd. And it looks like we're going to get a quick timeout here for Collingswood. Nice spike there by Taylor Suda to give Northern a 10-3 lead. Yeah, they're running, they're running away per, uh, by a lot right now in the early going. I mean, 10-3, really good start. Collingswood taking a timeout to maybe slow, us, slow Northern down. And certainly timeouts are typically used to break the other team's serve, break the momentum, give your team a brief rest, help motivate your players, and it's clear that that's what Collingswood's doing here. On the northern side, you know, Coach Darling is just keeping his girls focused, telling them to stay aggressive, and uh, hopefully they can make quick work here of Collingswood in the first set. Maddie Wolverton here back to serve for the Lady Hounds. Get right back, 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 right now. Kyle, what can you tell us about that? Yeah, Northern, <coughs> Northern definitely has a lot of talent on the court as they're up 11 to 3 right now. They've got junior Lydia Bauer on the court right now and seniors Emily Knopka and Maddie Wolverton who have both played big roles in this game so far as Natalie Chipotle is checking in for Maddie Woolerton, but Northern's definitely got some talent right now and they've definitely shown it early on. Maddie Cole is a freshman from last year, she's also got some talent for the Northern team, so they're definitely deep in terms of talent. And as you stated, Kyle, Maddie Cole actually won uh, NJ.com poll last year for Burlington County Player of the Year. She got close to 50% of the vote, so she's an outstanding young player, and hopefully Northern's bringing Bringing all their players along here, doing a great job as they lead this one 11 to 5. Yeah, that's two points in a row for Collingswood. Maybe it uh, looks like their timeout has done a little bit for them, if, if anything. I mean, at least they've been able to come back around, so he kind of did what he wanted. Another that was a little miscommunication there on the Hounds. Another point there for Collingswood. Mr. Dowd, as you had said earlier, they're a good road team, so that timeout might have done them some good so far. And despite struggling this year and last year, Collingswood actually has a, a good core group of seniors. They have eight seniors on their team. So they've certainly been playing together for quite a few years, and certainly the communication on the court is showing. That one's going to sail out. And that point's going to go to Northern.
great drop shot there by the Hounds. Emily Kanopka there with your right with a great drop shot there. Kind of fooled Collingswood. Got a point there for Northern. Yeah, it was more that time about aiming rather than hitting it that hard. I mean, she didn't have to hit it that hard to get the point there. It's all about placement there. And another point there for the Hounds. Now, the Hounds are coming off a disappointing season last year. They were 15-21. and 21. I know they had high expectations. They were trying to make it to the state playoffs. But they did score some big wins last year. Cherry Hill West, Notre Dame, Sterling, and Hopewell. And it's clear that Coach Gene Darling has taken that experience with the team and, uh, you know, helped motivate them. And hopefully they can bump up their record. They play really well at home. Last year they were 10-7 and 7 at home. Um, and so hopefully they can advance to the state playoffs. And then certainly once you get there, anything can happen, as we know. Absolutely. I think the ultimate goal is to make the playoffs. And like you said, once you get there, if you get on a roll, anything can happen. Now, Northern had a lot of turnover from last season. They lost some seniors from last year, Nicole Coogan, Gabby Tramall, Angelica Helms, Marissa Venizi Alley, Michaela Timmons, Shannon Spicer, just to name a few. But it's clear that they have a, a young core group of players here who uh, are really actually gelling really well and playing great as a team. And as I said, there are seven seniors on the Lady Hounds, so they've been playing together for quite a long time as well. And they're looking to expand this 14 to 6 lead. Another great kill there by Emily Kanopka. As Northern jumps out to a big 15 to 6 lead here. And the home crowd seemed to like that one. We always have a great turnout here at the farm and just like to thank our fans, and families here for their support. Always doing a great job with all of our Northern sports. And that's going to be another point to Northern as they lead this one 16 to 6. Northern's done a great job this game with their uh, service placement. The, a lot of them have been really deep in the back. They've had a dive for almost every one of them. Now, for those who don't know, first team to 25 points wins. It's best two out of three. You've got to win by two. Northern currently in the lead 17 to 6 here in the first set. Collingwood's coach is very upset about that last play because um, it came off the roof but bounced onto their own side, so they could have actually played that one back. And that's going to be another point to Northern. Now, certainly, you can check out this game. You can check out a lot of action here on Northern TV. We're on Comcast Channel 19, Verizon Channel 42. We're also streaming on the web, and we have our YouTube channel. You can also check us out on our app, Northern TV app at appcatch.com. Plug in all things Northern. You can email us at Northern TV to find out what's going on with our exciting sports and other events here at Northern. Looks like a little confusion there, but Collins is going to take over here. Another point for Northern gives them a 19-7 lead. Looks like we got a couple quick subs here. What can you tell us about these players, Kyle? Yeah, Emma Browning, a senior coming in, and Sarah Quinn, who's a sophomore coming in for Lydia Bauer. Looks like Sarah Quinn's going to serve right from the get-go, so getting her involved in this game pretty early. Yeah, they've kind of they've kind of run away with this lead this game, so it's kind of nice to see them get rotating all their players in. Getting everybody some rest for the next set. And that one's going to go to Collinswood. Score currently 19 to 8. Now the teams will switch sides after this first set. Kind of regroup. This first set is certainly far from over. Still anybody's game. But as we said before, Northern's got a gauntlet of road games coming up. So to get a big win here tonight at home, start the week, I think it really help momentum for their season. And they end their season, their last home game of the season is versus Leap on October 25th. So we'd certainly like you guys to come out and then they end their season on the road versus Timber Creek. So this team certainly has a lot of games left to play in the season. So yeah, uh, that's a four point run by, by uh, Collingswood. They've been, they've been able to really start 
putting it together now, coming back from well behind. And they're certainly hanging in this one. They're a rebuilding program. Now, they're coming off a, a four and 17 record last year. They've already got three wins so far this year, so they're certainly trying their best to improve their team. That was a great play there by Northern, and great diving effort there by Collingswood. As Northern's in the lead now, 20 to 10. Great play there by Emma Browning to give Northern the 20th point and kind of stop the Collingswood rally. Front line there in Northern. The crowd seems to go wild for that one. Great save. And Browning with the drop shot. Catching college in that guard. And that's going to be a point for the Hounds. A great job there by the senior on the front line. Yeah, definitely an excellent uh, an excellent play there. She almost she almost let that go by but came up with the big uh, with the big block and they managed to come back from that and get the point. That was going to sell out. The Hounds are currently in the lead now, 22 to 10. Doing a great job here at home. And that was going to sell out of bounds. That's going to go back to possession for Hollingswood. Northern certainly took the lead there with a couple of quick points. And they kind of ended that Collingswood rally and had one of their own. And give them 22 points, and they need three more to take this first game. here by both teams. Play at the net. Browning with the drop. Great play. Certainly a great rally there. A point given to Collingswood. Uh, I think she might have touched the net on that one. Might have been a net violation there on Emma Browning, but certainly a great rally nonetheless. Yeah, one of the longest ones in the game. If not the longest. I believe this is our fourth or fifth game together, right guys? We've done quite a winning streak here for the yeah. Hounds. We uh, announced two games last winter, girls and boys basketball, both big wins. Boys volleyball, girls lacrosse, so. Hopefully we're the good luck charm here for the Hounds here at home as they look to take this first set. Certainly we're undefeated so far. So hopefully we keep that streak going and Northern gets another point there to go up 23 to 12. And they're in their way towards the end of this game. It was looking really good at a little bit earlier. I mean, up 19 to 6, but the Collinswoods found a way back into it. Only down 23 to 12. Great save there by Collingswood. And uh, that one's just going to hit the net. And fall. But Northern certainly still has a big lead. Playing pretty well this season. But a few of our other fall teams are doing pretty well. What can you tell us about those teams? Well, the Northern football team so far has not had a great season so far. They've started out 0-3, but they're also in a rebuilding phase so far. Uh, this Northern football team. The boys soccer team had some big wins. They Point there for Northern, the 24th. The boys soccer team beat Bordentown and Florence in their last two games, so they've come up big as of late. And we did a boys soccer game last year, so hopefully they're, that boys soccer team can keep that momentum rolling. Yep, and certainly girls tennis is doing an outstanding job, led by Coach Maria Tomasetti, Jenna Granado, cross country, always highly competitive. So a lot of great things going on here at the farm, and Northern's looking to win this first set here. With uh, Emma Browning serving, game winning point. The net, that's going to go to Collingswood. But we're still certainly in the driver's seat here. Looks like we've got a quick sub coming in. 
for the Hounds. And that's going to go to Collinsworth. But we're still only one point away. We can take this match. We actually filmed a girls volleyball match last year versus GCIT, which was an outstanding match. Northern lost that one in three straight sets, but you know GCIT is a great team. They had won 20 plus games the past few seasons. It looks like our girls here trying to grab this one. Great play. And that's going to do it. Northern's going to take the first set here, 25 to 15 against Collinswood. Now the teams are going to switch sides, take a little break, and we'll pick back up on the action here in the second set. And we're back, folks. Welcome to the second set. For those of you just tuning in, I am Mr. James Dowd. I am joined by broadcasting students, Mr. Decker Mar, Ms. Mr. Kyle Forstini. We are here live at Northern Burlington County Regional High School as our Lady Greyhounds take on Collinswood. Northern took the first set, 25 to 15. And they're looking to hopefully wrap this game up here in the second set. Now, Decker, what are some of the things that stood out to you in the first set? Well, they definitely they won 50, 25 to 15, and I mean, that's pretty good in itself, but they def I definitely thought they should have won by a lot more. They made a few mistakes close to the end. Um, but they definitely they were definitely winning by a lot more until the last couple of points. They just All they have to, have to do is work on maybe sealing the deal a little bit better in this game, and in this match, and it'll be over soon. Yeah, just to add on to that, Decker, Northern, like you said, had a pretty sound, pretty sound first half, so hopefully they have more of the same of that here in the second half they can put this game away. And they certainly have some players more than capable of scoring some quick points. They are led by Emma Browning, Emily Kanapka, Taylor Sudo. Great play there by the Hounds. That one just sailed out. But a lot of talent there out on the court. Maddie Wolverton as well. So... Northern in the driver's seat, you know, up two to one. They took the first set, so certainly they have momentum on their side. Great home crowd here. Showing support for our fans. You can tell from that last play that Collingswood has learned a lot since the first half, since the first set of the game. Earlier in the game, they did the same thing where they hit the uh, they hit the ceiling and it bounced back into their side, but they should have to it. Great save there, and we can out. Great tip there too by Browning on the front line. Very good play there by both of those two players. Very long play here. Very good rally going back and forth here from Collingswood and the Lady Hounds. Great save there by Taylor Sudo as well. And that's going to be a point for the Hounds. Greyhounds lead this one, three to one. Can opt to go with a great kill there to end that long rally. Now, Northern has certainly increased their wins total the last couple of years. In 2014, they were 11 and 15. Last year, they were 15 and 21. This year, they are currently five and four, and hopefully they can pull out a win here today and be six and four. And you know, they, they need a 500 record to advance the same playoffs as we discussed in the first set. And it wasn't just but a few years ago that the Northern Burlington girls volleyball team was in the state finals up at William Patterson University. They got there as a mid-seed, and uh, they had a terrific season that year. And uh, let's hope that these girls, you know, the best of luck as they uh, continue to move forward in their season. A little bit of confusion here, and Collingswood certainly hanging with the Hounds here, three to three in the second set. They've had some great play by Kiana Lee, Gary Asalaya, and Ashley Lopez. Those have been the three, the big three for Collingswood, who lead the team in aces, service points, and kills. So, they're certainly hanging with the Hounds. Great effort there by Emily Kanaka to try and save that point there for Northern as Collingswood takes their very first lead of the day. And as you know, Kyle, as a varsity athlete yourself, sports is all about momentum. Absolutely. That was a great play by the Hounds. Getting back on the board, tying this one up four to four. As you would say, Mr. Dowd, momentum, when the momentum's going your way, everything starts to seem like it's going in your direction. No, for, for example, it seems like if you're a volleyball player, it seems like the other team starts to 
miss some, some plays and you start having better kills and better serves and everything just starts to look up on the bright side and certainly hopefully Northern can ride this momentum out a little bit. Yeah, I mean when you have the momentum, you kind of, it, it, makes, it makes life a lot easier when you're playing the, when you're playing the game. Point there for the Hounds as they take the lead now, 5-4. to four. Now, Northern TV Sports, love to stay active, love to do varsity events every season. We're looking to do boys senior night for soccer. We're going to be doing homecoming football, which is coming up on Saturday, October 29th. That's going to be a very exciting game against Hopewell Valley. Great turnout every year for homecoming, so certainly we'd love your support. You can check out all of the Northern TV Sports action on Comcast Channel 19, Verizon 42. You can check us out on YouTube. We've got a channel. We've got quite a few programming games up there. And uh, we recently aired actually a, a lot of tremendous programming on Northern TV as well. We had the Program of Studies, the 1980 Championship Football Game, Graduation 2016, Greyhound Choice, all kinds of stuff to stay plugged into all things Northern as Collingswood looks to uh, take the lead here with the serve. Great play there by Lydia Bauer, getting that ball over there for Northern. Yeah, great save, keep, keeping them alive. Great play there by the front line, slowing that one down. And that point's going to go to the visitors there as Collinsville takes the lead 6-5 to five here in the second set. Again, for those just joining in, I'm Mr. James Dowd, joined by broadcasting students, Mr. Kyle Forsini, Mr. Decker Morrow. It is Monday, September 26th. We are here live at the farm with the Northern Burlington Greyhounds take on Collingswood High School in a great local matchup here. Great play there by the Hounds. Home crowd loves it. Scores currently tied 6-6. Yeah, it looks like after the switch, Collinswood's been able to regroup uh, and pick up on what they've been doing, what they did at the end of the last match, which uh, they were they outplayed Northern the last couple points of the game. Uh, great play, play there by the Hounds. Hounds take the lead, seven to six. Now, as we said, Collinswood really struggles on the road, but three of their last four games this year are at home versus Florence, Pensacola, and they end the season October 24th against Pleasantville. So we wish them the best of luck as they move forward. Northern now takes the lead, eight to six. Great drop shot there by Collingswood. Now certainly you can keep up with all the Northern TV sports action. You can follow NBC Sports on Twitter at NBC underscore athletics. That's run by our athletic director, Dr. Dan Uzaki. Does a great job keeping everyone plugged into all things Northern sports. Collingswood looking to serve here, trying to tie the game. Down eight to seven here in the second set. That one looked like it caught Collingswood off guard. And that one's going to sail out of bounds. So it's going to take the lead 9 to 7 here in the second set. Both these teams are playing a lot more aggressive, I think, in the second set. Kyle, what do you think? Absolutely. Both the Collingswood certainly looks like they're out here trying to get this second set and keep the game going. And Northern looks like they're trying to put it away. So both teams have come out. And they've had very good rallies here in the second half. They've had some good plays back and forth. So they both come out hot in the second half. Looking, to, looking for both of them to try and do their best to end this game. Yeah, that, that play by Collingswood uh, just ended a 4-1 four, four run by Northern that was starting to stretch the game back out. Yeah, it looks like both these teams are getting really warmed up here and Collingswood obviously was a little tired getting here and was running a little late. They seemed a little fatigued there in the first set, but they've certainly come out to play here. The game is currently tied 9-9. Could go either way. And they're looking to surf. Great play there by Northern. All about placement. Caught Collingswood off guard, taking the lead 10 to 9. 
Home crowd loves it. We've got a quick sub here coming in for the Hounds. You can see uh, a clear difference in the coaching styles of the two teams. While uh, Northern likes to kind of relax and let the players decide most of it, Collingswood coach has been a little bit more vocal with his players uh, as this game progressed. Well, as I said, I think Coach Darling has a lot of experience coaching athletics here at Northern, assistant football coach, head coach for basketball, baseball, uh, an athlete himself. So I think he you know, has a very calm demeanor, keeps the girls focused. And uh, it's shown here they're, they're in this one 11-9, looking to uh, get another point. Great play there by Brownie, sending it over. Great play there with Taylor Sue to keep it alive there on the floor. Tremendous drop shot there by the Hounds, and that's, you know, that's just where experience shows right there. You know, the Hounds playing well. Collinswood, they're a young team. They're, they're trying to catch up with the Hounds, and, you know, a little miscue like that, the Hounds take the lead. Exactly. It's not all about how hard you hit it. It's about placement. And Northern's placed it pretty well here in the second half. Great save there by Collingswood, right there on the front line. Northern currently in the lead, 12 to 10. It is the second set, best two out of three. And another great shot there by the Lady Hounds. Emily Canopka with a great shot there. Another great placement. Not about how hard you hit it, like I said before. Placing it is key. Yeah, they've been placing it almost the same spot, and it looks like Collingswood just isn't really adjusting to it in the second set. And Kanaka certainly done a great job, as I stated before. She's one of the team leaders in aces and in service points. That looks like a net violation there on the Hounds, and that point's going to go to Collingswood. But Hounds still in the lead, 13 to 11. Look like a little disappointed in that call, but Collingswood's going to take over here. Yeah, yeah, I'm not quite sure she actually hit the net on that one, but. We don't get to use uh, instant replay here like they do in, in the Olympics. Yeah, it didn't really look like she needed to hit that. I wasn't sure if that ball was going to get over anyway. Well, hopefully the Hounds don't let that one get to them. It certainly doesn't look like that as they come out aggressive on that play. And as you said, Emily Klonopka with a with the great placement there. And she's looking to serve here as the Hounds lead this one 14 to 11 here in the second set. Substitution here for Collingswood. A little confusion there as the ball hits the uh, top of the ceiling. Kind of catching Collingswood off guard. That point's going to go to Northern. It's 15 to 11. Yeah, that's the third time today Collingswood's hit the ceiling. Looks like we're going to get a quick timeout here, as we said. Uh, timeouts are used to you know, break momentum, give the team a rest, a little motivation. Looks like Coach Darling is just telling his team to stay aggressive and uh, continue with the great placement. Collingwood coach having his girls you know, just improve on the communication and just continue to fight. They're still in this one. Still a lot of volleyball left to play in this second set here. I think the, the whole hitting the ceiling for Collingswood shows a little bit of home field advantage for Northern. I mean, they're more used to playing inside this gym, so they're less likely to probably hit the ceiling. So, teams getting back out on the court here. I know our crowd here is on hand. It's supporting both teams, doing a great job. Always have a great turnout here at Northern. Friends and families on hand, fellow students, supporting our teams. And uh, Northern's going to serve this one up 15 to 11. Trying to build on this lead. Great for there by Emma Browning. Placing that perfectly right on the edge there in the backcourt. Giving Northern a 16 to 11 lead. Yeah, I think Collingswood almost expected that to go out. They didn't even really chase after it that much. They kind of just expected the ball to go out, out of the line. That's why you just have to follow. Well, as, please. as you said, Decker, you know, Northern's got the home court here. They know where the lines are. They know where the ceiling is. So they're certainly capitalizing on, on perfect placement. 
And it's tough, you know, you're on the road, you're in a new environment. And there's another great play there by the Hounds as they lead this one 17 to 11. And it uh, looks like Kanaf is going to serve here for the Hounds. There by Emma Browning down on the front line, staying highly aggressive, putting that one over. Northern currently in the lead here, 18 to 11, looking to continue the momentum here. Maybe put Collingswood away. Leave here with a big win. And Northern's on a pretty good run now. I mean, what's that? Seven or eight of the last out of the last nine. Great hit there by Matty Wolverton sending that one over. Great save there by Kanapka. And that one just falls short for Collingswood as Northern takes the lead here, 19 to 11 in the second set. Trying to make quick work here of Collingswood. Maybe pull this one off. Looks like we've got another quick timeout here. Team's looking to regroup. I know Coach Darling is very happy with his team's performance. And he should be, 19 to 11, trying to put Collingswood away here. So hopefully Northern can do it here. Certainly want to take this opportunity to thank our Northern TV crew on hand. We've got some great work being done by Ms. Jesse Ireland, Mr. Mike Manna, Mr. Sean Roach on camera. We've got Garrett Ballinger on sound, Rachel Liebeck directing the action, Bruce Franz on graphics. Certainly you guys are doing a great job, Decker and, and Kyle and Juliet Skelza who helped us out here with the production crew and obviously Mr. Pona, video production teacher, our facilities department who's done a great job here with Northern as always and, and our fans for their support and our teams who always do a great job. So thanks to them as this timeout is quickly coming to an end here and Northern looks to put this one away quickly in the lead against Collingswood, 19 to 11. So we're going to pick back up on the action here. Kanaka's looking like she's going to waste no time. Big. And Great Collins serve there. Collins Great play. Called out there that nothing they could really do after they made the call that it was going to go out, and then it just landed right in. And as I said, Kanak is one of our team leaders in service aces, so she's been certainly doing that all season, doing a great job here. Northern in the lead, 20 to 11. Kanak yeah, looking to serve. That's her 19th ace of the year. Another great serve there by Kanak, placement in a place where Collins would have trouble getting to it. And it gives Northern 21 to 11 lead here. Four more for Northern, and they can end this game. Yep, and I think they're just a little frazzled. You know, they they were fighting so hard there in the second set. The game was so close, and now Northern's certain pulling away. Yeah! And that's going to be another ace for the Hounds. Great serving there by Emily Kanapka, giving Northern a pretty good run here and giving them some momentum to try and close this game out. Yeah, and they're certainly firing on all cylinders here with commanding lead 22 to 11 here in the second set. Three points away from taking this game. Yeah, and as I said, this would be a great win for them. Make that 20 aces on the season for Emily Kanapka. And that one's going to go to Collins. A little miscue there by Maddie Wolfkin and Emma Browning, but they've been doing such a great job tonight. They were just trying to be aggressive there and get that ball over. And uh, Northern currently in the lead here, 22 to 12. Looks like we've got a quick sub coming in. Yeah, that just ended the almost 10 point run Northern was on. And uh, Collingwood's gonna serve here. And Browning with a terrific play, as she's done all night. Great placement there, dropping that shot just where Collingswood couldn't reach it. She's looking to serve here, maybe put this game away. Northern in the lead, 23 to 12. In this game was started out really close. This set, this uh, set, it was eight to eight, and now Northern's 19 for the last 24. And that was going to say a lot of bounce. Northern now a point away. Hopefully, Brownie can get a quick point here for the Hounds. Put this one away. Here for the Hounds, so serving game point here. Emma Browning serving for the win. Yeah. 
Maddie Wolfton with a great drop shot there. Advantageous there at the net. Great rally here. Fighting so hard. That was a great save. They have to. If they don't make this point, they're gonna they're gonna lose. Another save by Colin. And that's gonna do it, folks. Great play there. Great fight by Collingswood. Northern Burlington takes the win here, 25 to 12 in two straight sets. Congratulations to our Lady Hounds and Coach Dean Darling. Thank you for tuning in. For Mr. Decamara, Mr. Kyle Forsini, I am Mr. James Dowd signing off. <laughs>